ऑल गोवा क्रीप कॉम्पिटिशन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू मे ऑन द फर्स्ट प्लेस सो टेल अस अबाउट इट development for the crib the entire plan was actually started almost a year back and uh, the sole purpose was to actually hit the historical accuracy because uh, it is quite evident that you know nowadays people are saying that people have stopped making the cribs the way it was being done before and most of the cribs look all the same so there was a lot of research done on to the terrain the topography of jerusalem right from the vegetation that was there during that time to the houses that were built from the type of clothes they wore the colors from the complexion everything was taken into consideration for this trip and uh, the sole motive was actually to be very creative but within the uh, historical relevance of uh, bethlehem and during the nativity of jesus we do not want to concentrate on to you know the scenery the landscape and all but <laughs> but uh, we had to capture the essence of that night of jesus being born so the mannequins were made from scratch we had to take face casts and all and everything and we try to get the expressions right we try to freeze the moment and yeah and then it was a very tedious process because we were running short on time it was pulled off uh, within 50 days by 20 people having late nights or so uh, this was done by people who ranged from the age of 16 to 24 that is it and these guys have pulled off a great job literally sacrificing you know their time and uh, adjusting the entire schedule somehow uh, we were hopeful that we would win but it's just that there was a little bit of doubt but then you know there is this thing why we did a lot of hard work so we have to get something it was a great experience a great learning experience a lot of uh, 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 you know insights into the uh, nativity of jesus uh, the entire time, timeline during that time and this is for us for holy spirit parish youth like our first attempt at the crib competition and we actually nail it this is uh, our joy actually has no bounds now the pressure is on because there have been a lot of expectations on all of us because we need to up the game the next time so let's see how it goes we might actually grant uh, you know extend the scale and try to bring something new into the process of making cribs when people come and see the crib and appreciate your work and you provide them the details about your crib so how you feel it is great because on, honestly speaking as i said a lot of research was done into the crib right there are many aspects of of that time that people are not aware about uh, like i said uh, i mean i mean if you go to see right now the cribs when you do them they turn them into amazon rainforests Bethlehem was not an Amazon rainforest with waterfalls or lakes or huge fishes or anything. It was a desert, and the topography, the terrain was completely different. So, secondly, just just uh, for an example, I, I I would like to say this. They say there were three kings. Technically, they were not kings. They were not rulers of any area, any land, which is not at all mentioned in the Bible. uh they were just wise men who studied astrology they were rich because kings used to consult them and that time astrology was like science so they and the star of bethlehem was actually uh, an event which happened during that night so they saw that star and they came but the conception that they were kings is faulted so when you show three palaces and all that is again it goes into the area of uh, fictional creativity there is no solid proof about it there are many more that it could be brought up but then if you do research into it you will actually come it feels great when you i you share this information you know out to the people because besides just seeing cribs there is something that we can share on an intellectual level as general knowledge so yeah it feels really great when people actually come to you know and ask us how did you do this how did you do that what is the idea behind this feels really nice to actually tell our experience our side of the story you got the first place yeah. on that crib competition on the locustor stage yeah. so what will be your message for the youth for doing the crib for the long years every year 
See, my message is simple. I also grew up seeing these grips, walk-in grips. People are doing it on a very grand scale. But honestly, this is just my personal opinion. The moment when there are 10, 15 grips that end up looking all the same, and there are people actually who genuinely feel that they are mazane yaarai, to umed urna to watch the grips. It becomes a responsibility of that particular team, that particular group, to actually introduce something new to the, uh, you know, audience. And as of now, I only wish next year all the crib makers who are there, you know, besides taking freedom over creativity, I think it's time to go back to the roots of how cribs were made instead of turning them into something really modern. Stick to that because over the years, people will actually prefer that. And it will be something new for people to see. People are not into neon lights or anything right now. But if they actually get to see Bethlehem in its true aspect, if you are able to pull it out, then that is good. So tell about yourself and Parachute. Well, uh, I have been in the Parachute for more than uh, 15 years right now. I'm 31. I'm just over, not, not out overseeing, I'm only extending my support. Technically, I'm out of the youth. But uh, the others, uh, they are this major part of the parachute over there. Our main, not main, actually, the, the heart of a parachute is basically, uh, you know, when there is an idea, we actually collectively come and, uh, you know, regardless whatever the uh, obstacles may be, we actually end up believing in that idea. And in some way or the other, you know, we'll try to pull it off. Now, our parachute as of now is great. People are still young. We have students. For them, this is going to be a learning experience. Whatever that I am today, anything good that is in me, I actually owe it over to the parachute. And this is just me giving it back to them. So, I hope that, uh, you know, this thing will continue again in future. Every year we will be able to participate. I hope, uh, you know, for that, and I keep my fingers crossed. And I have uh, full faith that uh, if things go right and everything is in our control, then yeah, we can actually introduce something new every single day. So, your good name? My name is Dylan. Dylan Rodgers. Thank you, sir.